नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड टेन्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर सेकेंड एसिड्स बेजस एंड सॉर्ट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वील डिस्कस हाउ डू मेटल कार्बोनेट्स हाउ डू मेटल कार्बोनेट्स एंड मेटल हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट्स रिएक्ट विद एसिड्स से लुक द डायग्राम लुक द डायग्राम हि से दिस वन इज स्टैंड दिस वन इज स्टैंड एंड दिस इज दिसल फनेल दिस वन इज कॉर्क दिस वन इज टेस्ट ट्यूब this is called as delivery tube this is again okay, this is test tube so what you have to do <coughs> you have to look the activities just to will go for activity explanation take two test tubes label them a and b in test tube a add 5 grams of sodium carbonate chemical formula is na2co3 it is also called as washing soda and about 0.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonates nhco3 it is also called as baking soda in the test tube b now add 2 ml of hcl dilute hcl dilute hydrochloric acid to both the test tubes what do you observe the question is asked here what do you observe yes you are saying observation is evolution of gas and this gas pass the gas produced in the each case through the lime water lime water it is also called as calcium hydroxide as shown in the figure okay now the reaction for about the reaction what you have to do you have to see the reaction you know that when metal carbonates metal carbonates here this one is metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates this react with acids this acids so what product will be formed salt yes salt and produces or with the evolution of carbon dioxide salt carbon dioxide gas see salt water and produces carbon dioxide gas okay then what the gas is produced so you have to identify whether it is carbon dioxide or any other gas for the identification of carbon dioxide gas on passing the carbon dioxide gas when carbon dioxide gas in the less proportion is passed through the solution of calcium hydroxide passed through the solution of calcium hydroxide the <coughs> solution turns milky due to the formation of insoluble white white precipitate due to the formation of white precipitate of calcium carbonate it is also called as limestone okay what will be formed insoluble salts of insoluble salts of white precipitate of calcium carbonate then on see the next one on further on passing the excess of carbon dioxide if the excess of carbon dioxide is passed through the solution of calcium hydroxide solution and what the actually what you will what so what you will get when you are passing the excess of carbon dioxide so you will get calcium bicarbonate see here the soluble salts of calcium hydrogen carbonate it is also called as milk of lime so you will get this is color turns milky solution milk say milky solution product you are getting see now we move on to limestone chalk 
See, look here now, limestone, limestone, chalk, and marble. See, look here, limestone, chalk, marble. These are the forms of calcium carbonate. These are the products of calcium, different forms of calcium formate. So, in general, metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates react with acid to produce salt then water salt water and also with the evolution of carbon dioxide gas okay dear students now we move on to how do acids and how do acids and bases react with each other how do acids and base acids and bases react with each other now look the activity take about 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution take about 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube and add two drops of phenolphthalein solution and add two drops of phenolphthalein solution what is the color of the solution so what color you will observe you know that when bases added to sorry when phenolphthalein is added to the bases the color what the color will be formed pink color so you will get the enriched solution becomes pink then further you added dilute HCl to the solution to the above solution drop by drop what color you will observe is the color change for the reaction yes the pink color slowly disappears what will form pink color will be disappearing and now again add a few drops of NH solution above the mixture so you know that again pink color comes Again you are adding the phenolphthalein solution, pink color you will get and again if you will go acid then color will disappear. So here what we are observing in the above activity we observe that the effect of base is the effect of the base is nullified, nullified means cancelled by an acid. The base is cancelled by the acid and the acid is cancelled by the base so vice versa is given so the reaction this type of reaction is called as neutralization reaction so example is NaOH sodium hydroxide plus HCl so you will get sodium chloride NaCl and water salt and water is producing so the, so the dear, dear Sulan the definition of neutralization reaction the reaction between an acid and the reaction between an acid and a base to give salt and water is called as neutralization reaction see the reaction between the acid and base to give salt and water is called as neutralization reaction in general neutralization reaction can be written as base plus acid or acid plus base salt and water okay dear students let us, let us do an activity take 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution and add phenolphthalein look the color of the solution look it so what you are observing pink color okay now add slowly dilute hydrochloric acid add slowly dilute hydrochloric acid to this So what you observe the color 
disappears. Now again I will add sodium hydroxide solution. Now what you observe, the solution becomes, the solution becomes again pink color, the solution becomes pink and again I will add dilute HCl, see the color disappears. So when acid reacts with base or when base reacts with acid, it neutralizes or nullifies each other. So this reaction is called as neutralization reaction. Now we move on to reaction of metallic oxides with acids. See dear students, when metal reacts with oxygen, to produce metal oxides. Now, see the periodic table. In the periodic table, where is metals? Where is metals? So you look, look here. This, this all, these are all metals. These are all, all these are all metals. This all. See, like magnesium, calcium, sodium, barium, sodium. Lithium, these are all metals. Now here this one is non-metal. And here carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, these are all non-metals. Okay, these are all non-metals. Now this one is metalloids. So metals react with oxygen. When metals react with oxygen to produce metal oxides or metallic oxides. In the similar manner, this non-metals like carbon, nitrogen, or this or carbon, nitrogen reacts with oxygen to produce non-metallic or non-metal oxides. Okay. Now, look here. Take a small amount of copper oxide. Copper is a metal. Copper. Take a small amount of copper, copper oxide, metallic oxides, metal oxide in a beaker. And add dilute sulfuric acid, dilute sulf hydrochloric acid you have to add, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute HCl. Then stir it is given. Note the color of the solution. See you notice that when you added copper oxide to the dilute, dilute hydrochloric acid, it dissolves. Then the color of the solution becomes blue green. The color of the solution becomes what? Blue green. This blue green color is of the solution is due to the formation of copper chloride. Copper chloride chemical formula is CuCl2. Due to the copper chloride, the solution becomes blue green in color. So, when metal oxide reacts with acid to produce salt and water. Now, write the balance equation is given here. Now, write the balance equation. Okay, you have to write the balance. CuO, copper oxide reacts with dilute HCl, 2HCl plus 2HCl produces CuCl2 plus H2O. Okay. Since the metallic oxides react with acids, give salt and water, similar to the reaction between the base and acid. That is why metallic oxides are called as basic oxides. See, dear student, listen now. Similar to the reaction of the base with the acid, metallic oxides are said to be basic oxides. I think you may not understood this. Correct? See, now, look here. Look here. Here, metal oxides and base and acid reacts with salt and water. Correct? Now, look here. 
base and acid to produce what salt and water here also see salt and water common here both are acid see this is acid and here also acid okay now the difference between the base and metal oxide see now base reacts with acid to produce salt and water metallic oxide reacts with acid to produce salt and water so that is why this metallic oxides are basic in nature so that is why they are called as basic oxides so here this explanation is given note that is okay understood now we move on to reaction of non metallic oxides with base reaction of non metallic oxides with uh, base okay you know that carbon dioxide and calcium hydroxide lime, calcium hydroxide is also called as lime water in the activity 2.5 calcium hydroxide is a base see calcium hydroxide is a base it reacts with carbon dioxide non metal see it reacts with non metal to produce salt and water so you know that when acid and base acid reacts with base to produce salt and water and here also non metals reacts with acid to produce salt and water see since the reaction similar since this react this is similar to the reaction between the acid and base or base and acid we can conclude that non metallic oxides this non metallic oxides are also called as see these are in acidic in nature so that is why they are also called as acidic oxides okay dear students understood thank you thank you for joining us